Come here, Bailey. I brought you presents. So yeah, look at this big fancy tap bed. I brought Bailey homage to the murder chickens. <laughs> And then I've heard that you've been slacking off, Brian. So I bought a pet bed for Bailey to sit right here and watch you work. But I said, the only problem is, it's just like all my other pet beds, it's too small. I'm gonna hang off all the ends of it. He was the biggest one they had. I know, and that's the way they come. He says, I don't know why they don't make them for adult-sized dogs. But. <laughs> you ever seen, seen the picture of the one up there in the house where he's laying on it and he's, <laughs> he's laying the head off one end and ass off the other? Come here, Bailey. I got you something. You sit right here and you watch Brian work all the time, okay? Right here with your murder chicken. It's not flavored, is it? Not at Sorry. all. Sorry. <laughs> he says, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know if he had any teeth or not. My dog doesn't have teeth, so I have it's, to be careful oh, yeah, what we, I buy. We got the teeth. They can still chomp, chomp stuff. They like the crummage. Peanut butter dog treats are the favorite. Peanut butter dog treats. You get those peanut butter milk bones. Say, so I'll do about anything. I'll still get up chase something for a peanut butter milk bone. <laughs> well. well Bailey. Say thank you, Bailey. Say. It, brought, it brought you a nice gift to add to your plethora of dog beds. So. Well, maybe put two or three of them together. Yeah. <laughs> Bailey doesn't care. He's leaving. <laughs> He's not the best with road signs, so he kind of, he's, he's an outlaw. He kind of just does his own thing. He doesn't <laughs> pay taxes. He, he, you know, gives it to the man all the time, tells the government, go stick it. He does what he wants. I'm detecting some animosity towards Bailey from you because he makes you work too much and now you're dissing your dog. So, yeah, I so see he just, he just does whatever he wants. Most of them do. Of course, he's the boss, so I guess yeah. that's what you get to do when you're the boss. You just do whatever you want. So. He says, I'm a teenager. I can do whatever I want. Oh, that's right. I'm not to listen, Dad. You're not our Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what we're going to do right now. I brought him a... A little steady rest. A little so steady rest. That's going to fit on the my heart. Oh, it'll work. It just might need some tweaking, but I think it's going to be real close as it is. Well, the price is right. <laughs> well, I had one outfit I found that actually had one of the correct steady rest. Yeah. And they priced it to me for $20,000. Yeah. I told him I'd just make a billet one for twenty thousand dollars before. <laughs> they, a lot of places I've noticed just price themselves out of the market. Um, the place that this one came from basically specialized in steady rest and chucks and Warner and Swayze and current lays. But he's used to selling to the oil field when the oil field is rip roaring. You can get twenty thousand dollars for a steady rest because you need. To. Yeah, but now now it's not going so good. And no. But, but unfortunately, that seems to be the way it always is with a. Yep. So I buy when I can. Sure, I can make that happen if I want to. They will not destroy anything bad. You've seen the, the, the crap I've gone through on these trucks.
that's one of the oh, bed clamps. <laughs> There's two of them. Looks like a cast iron football falling out of Hey, you could get what we paid for it in scrap value nowadays. You need help? swing here at some point. Well, I'm afraid it's going to swing into your car. And come down. Whoa! Yeah, we step on the tailgate, it goes down. <laughs> I'll tell you what, do you have a rope? How much did it say it weighs? Yeah, let me see. If I could zoom on my phone and get good enough resolution to tell. Those are the uh, bed clamps for it. Looks like it's about 700 pounds. I ought to get really good mileage going back. I got 1,100 miles to the gallon in this yeah. on the way up here. Of course, you've shot that this morning, probably. You've, you've uh, gone way down on your average there, I bet. Well, maybe. You might be down 11. Nine, 900 now. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> well, time we get that, and then we get your bar. And another bar, too, at that place. The only good thing is, on the way to Georgia, it will uh, increase even more. One man gave me the idea, a speed tip, that I should fold in the mirrors on it. And then that way it will go even faster. Better mileage. Yeah, that's probably true.
You might get six miles a gallon on that motor home instead of five and a half. Actually, I was getting about nine. That's pretty good. Yeah. That drill just is huge. I'm standing in the back of my truck, and it's still four feet above my head. It's the beauty of a bridge crane. Go yep. ahead and won't have to shoot them. Yeah. If they don't electrocute and kill themselves sticking their hand in the exposed electrical panel, try and turn the lights on to begin with, then the next thing is give them a beast and be tripping and falling over something. Then Bailey will clean them up. You know, uh, COVID's really screwed with my life. It used to be when I saw somebody wearing a mask, I just shoot them. Yeah. Now, they frown upon that. Watch out, Bailey. Bailey, I'd come over here. He has a reputation. So, Bailey says, I have no fear. This is piddly stuff. <laughs> he says, I've, I've seen this hold way, way more. <laughs> Well, he's a teenager. Yeah, invincible. Considering that's like a ton of carriage there, it actually turns pretty easy. Carriage weighs more than a south pin. Yeah. What about? Six to eight years I've been looking for a handle, a punch handle for the apron of my 16. And that is something that's hard to do. Chip or something?
Looks pretty close. I think it's pretty close. If anything, it's a little bit low. Yeah. But should be twenty thousand dollars. Probably close enough to just run the rollers out. Yeah. And get by Pen on smaller on diameter which, stuff. Yeah. I was at a shop being sold the other day, and they had a nine-inch South Bend steady rest. Assembled the four inches of aluminum block to run on the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> now open the drawer of the, the south bin. Luckily there was the carriage bolt for it. So at least it, I think that's workable. Don't know. Cl closer than what I had anyway. Yeah. I looked about need some love. About two hundred of those. There wasn't many that had the base that wide on them. No. That's perfect width. Yeah, it's about the right width. Yeah. It's probably for a model eighty instead of a ninety. I think that the eighties were of similar width but not quite as tall. Mm. Well, I looked for an Axelson steady rest for the same eight years and I went to this place and I asked the guy if he had any and he says, I just threw someone in the dumpster. So next day, Don and I went over and we opened the door to the dumpster and laying at our feet was an Axelson for, uh, for a 20 and a 16. <laughs> Almost takes a crane to raise that up. Yeah, it's heavy. So. <laughs> but you got one right there above your head, luckily. Yeah. Sweet. I think you'll be all right. There's one of the hold down clamps. You can play with those later to see how you're going to work on them. One for each side. Grunt test right here. says you like the big machines. Try right, keeps you in shape. Hold that 50 pound cast piece up in one hand, tighten the screw the other. Tons of them that didn't even have the base bed clamps on them. Luckily, this one did. Looks like it's going to work. It's pretty close. Might have to take a little off of it to get it clamped. Got that swing on it so it ramps up underneath it so you don't have to take it loose every time. Just spin it out of the way. 
Looks like a lot bigger ranch than that. Oh. I'm gonna go around the other side of this monster. I was looking to get him one on wheels so he could just follow you around easier. Well, I've been having to pick our old one up, carry it upstairs into the motor coach all the time. But she's a good dog. She's Thanks. worth it. Yeah. Out of screw, and you put another washer on it. Either they're dirty or, yeah. or it's out of thread, I think. Feels stiff. It's clamped right there. Yep. Yeah. I think you can use that with as is. Yep. Fits perfect. What are the chances? <laughs> a, yeah, pretty good when you pick out the right one. <laughs> Only made you go back and look, what, four times? To, Find one that looked right. I think I was over there about seven or eight times in total for helping other people. I dropped two off to uh, Neil in uh, Nashville yesterday at noon. So, sail it down to the end for storage. Yep. Gotta get that roof panel fixed over. So it'll quit raining on my bed though. Oh. You can see it on. Yeah. Not a whole lot comes in, but a little. Let's see what's on that tarp there. Well, all that tin was your original, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's all. What, was this a. Probably the 1930s, I'd say. 30s. The, uh, the original roof on this farm was wood shake, I'm pretty sure, because all boards got. Hundreds of little big tiny nails, wood shaped nails in them where they had it all covered, and then probably in the 1930s or so they put the tin on it. It's been on there ever since. So the, the aerial photography from here from like 1949 was like the first year the USDA flew the for the agricultural maps you can pull up for. Where they did the entire area and you can pull it up back in 1949 and see if the metal roofs were on it then anyway because was it a, 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 a cattle barn or what was it originally made for uh, originally it was tobacco barn because of course uh, in 1830 when the big house was built here when they were farming this uh, tobacco was the currency nobody had any use for money so it was tobacco and whiskey was the currency of Kentucky. So everybody traded tobacco and whiskey for everything that they needed. Just, I mean, if there's no stores, what are you going to do with any money? Well, <laughs> do, do they still have tobacco around here? 
Yeah, there's still a little bit, although not anything like it was when I was a kid. Everybody had a tobacco farm then, but now it's just three or four guys that raised 200 acres or so a piece, and that's the extent of it. Of course, people smoked a whole lot more yeah. years ago than they do now. We were uh, in Pennsylvania about six months ago. The, our little dog died. We went to get a new one. Had to drive all the way to Pennsylvania to get a replacement dog for my wife. Some special dog. You could just stop by here. I could fix you up a couple. I got three pit bull puppies up there. You can take them. No, no, no. She wouldn't accept that. She wanted the kind <laughs> she had. Well, anyway, we got up there and it was a Amendonite farm that was raising them. Yeah. And they had tobacco barns going and that was their main crop. So. Kind of surprised me that there was still that much demand for it. And then you got, of course, around here was predominantly just standard barley. You get over into western Kentucky, they have a lot of that dark fire cured tobacco that's used for pipe tobacco. That's my solid rock boring bar there. Got that half inch boring bar on this 40 inch lathe. It's yeah. Perfect. We need to talk scale. You need <laughs> some help with scale. So, right, Bailey? If that's what you need for the job, that's what I, you need for the job. I know. I've got other boring bars over here if I need them. I, have to... I will admit that I do remember your advice about I should have bought the 24 inch lathe instead of the 20. I got a project that's got a 24 inch diameter <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. What's this going in, your lawnmower? That's the engine out of the heister. Going into the lawnmower, I bet. <laughs> so, I a guy from Iowa wanted the transmission for it, but I haven't heard anything more about that. Uh, apparently you have one of the same model forklifts with the transmission tore up in it, so. Maybe that'll go to Iowa, I'm not sure. Probably some World War II uh, truck person will maybe wind up with that engine, because they were used in a lot of the World War II military, military vehicles. Trucks. Yeah, I think maybe some of the big Studebaker trucks and stuff used that same engine. That was the biggest six cylinder that Hercules made. 40 Four. horse electric motor. 40 horse. Same as what's on the Monarch here. You know, my, my planer has got a 20 horse and it's that big. But it's old, it's a 1943, so. Well, the 15 on the GNL back there is about the same size as that 42. It's, it looks like a trash can sitting behind it. <laughs> well, you've got a nice shop. I'm sure I can find a buyer for most of all these tools. Yeah. No way. So. Hey, Lee, stop biting me. <laughs> Bailey, check out your new bed. Somebody reminded me I better pay homage to the murder chickens, so. Yeah. What better than another chicken? There's about 30 of them out there just looking for anything to stand still long enough for them to take advantage of, so you gotta be careful. Well,